What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Folks, just bringing you guys episode number 10 of Learning Laddering in the UU tier. If you guys are excited, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff down below if you haven't already. Now, uh, also check the description for Twitch and Twitter, as well as the other two that we've played so far. Go and follow on those respective uh, platforms as well. And now, we're going to jump into today. I was pretty salty last episode, I won't lie, and try to tell you guys that, uh, that it was... That it was a good episode, because it wasn't. I was very salty. We ended up winning the last match, but uh, I was just pretty mad the whole time. And I was pretty frustrated because I recorded the second session of OU and the first session of UU back-to-back. -back, and uh, it just wasn't just wasn't good, man. It just didn't go well. So, hopefully today, things can go a little bit better. So, we're going to go ahead and look for a battle. We're using the same exact UU team. Mainly because I know it's good. Like, I know I know this team is going to work. I know this team is cash. We just have to work out the kinks. You know, we have to get it right. So, anyway, I'm seeing a lot of Darmanitans lately. This guy's got a pretty similar team to mine. Why does he have two Porygons? <laughs> Why does this guy have two Porygons? Hold on, huh? All right, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, his lead is looking like it's going to be Don Fan. Which means my lead can also be Don Fan. I inched Earthquake twice. He doesn't actually have any Earthquake switch-ins either, which is amazing for me. Uh, I wouldn't say for Alligators an Earthquake switch-in. I'm going to start the timer on this guy, too. And uh, he is going to lead with his Porygon Z, which is kind of annoying. It's annoying. Uh, he's going to go for um, just nice beam, probably, I guess. I don't actually have any switch-ins except my own Porygon, so I'm going to go to my own Porygon. Because why not, right? Anyway, he goes for Tri-Attack. Yum! Eating it up. Delicious. All right, so he's Life Warp. I'm just going to go for Tri-Attack of my own, I guess. And uh, see what we can do. He goes into Espeon. This should do something. That did a lot. Oh my god. Um, I'm gonna try attack again. See how much I can do. See what this psychic does to me. Oh, he switched out into Don Fan. Uh, still gonna do quite a bit. Yo, <laughs> Porygon is putting in the finest. All right, so um, I'm gonna recover here and hope he stays frozen. As he does. Beautiful. Now I just Ice Beam and kill this thing. Ice Beam should kill from this range. It doesn't kill. Stay frozen. Beautiful. I'm going to try attack again in case he wants to switch out. And that is going to be Don Fan out of the way, which is amazing. So, he probably brings in his, uh, his uh, Darmanitan now to kill my Porygon, which is uh, kind of annoying, but, you know, whatever. Which means I'll probably have to switch in my um, my fodder, which would be... Oh, okay. Or this. I'm just going to... I want a Thunderbolt so bad. This is Stab. It's not super effective. I feel like Thunderbolt's my best play. I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt here. He goes, he's gonna D-dance up, which is fine. Please hit this and please, it's gonna hit, but please, I, that did a lot, paralyze. Oh my lord, let's go! Let's go, that is, that is nice. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. We're not gonna get the analytic boost. I wanna go for a tri-attack here in case he switches out. He doesn't switch out, but it is gonna kill his gator. Yo, Porygon 2 though. Why is Porygon 2 so strong? Calm down, Porygon 2. All right, so now it's the uh, now it's the the problems in the problem is in. So uh, I guess I go out into Don Fan here and sack it off, uh, which is kind of unfortunate, but you know whatever. I can't really do anything else. Um, anyway, I'm gonna Toxic just in case he switches out. He doesn't. All right, cool. So now I get a free switch to my own Darmanitan. And I can Earthquake something for free. Or I could U-turn. On his Espeon. Where's Porygon? I'm just going to go for an Earthquake, yeah. This is, this is the safest play. Oh, he's got Sheer Force now. That's scary. Um, but he doesn't have any... Uh... Ooh. That's not good at all. I am going to have to play around this a little bit. I'm going to go into Crobat. First, he's probably just gonna go for try attack and kill me. He goes for a T wave. Uh, hmm. All right then. Anyway, I am just gonna brave bird. Hope that he misses, makes a mistake here, uh, and doesn't kill me right away when he could. I'm just gonna brave bird though. Hopefully we don't get paralyzed in case we live. We do live. Don't get paralyzed. Beautiful. That's gonna do a lot. Nice. So now I just cross poison. Brave bird again. Brave bird again. He's just gonna kill me. Oh, or not. Don't get paralyzed. All right. Nice. Uh, this is actually good for me. I've seen three of his moves too, which is nice. Um, what's my play now? Brave Bird did 33. 
feel like a Flare Blitz from a sheer 4-star Manitan should kill this. I feel like it should. I really do. I'm going to go ahead and go for a Flare Blitz and hope that we can kill. Or do I U-turn out into a Reuniclus? It's tough. I'm just going to Flare Blitz. It doesn't kill. He's going to Thunder Wave me. And now he's just going to recover. That's so annoying. Oh my lord. We didn't get the burn either. Oh, uh, that's so annoying. I'm going to go into Reuniclus, I guess. That's so frustrating now. Because now he just recovers. I'm just going to Calm Mind. He's probably just going to T-Wave me or something. Uh, I feel like I can just win, though. I feel like I can just kind of win. Oh, he goes into this. Ooh, that's not good. No, it's actually fine. I'm going to Calm Mind again, see how much this does. It shouldn't do over 50, especially if I'm plus 2. Or plus, well, I'm plus 1 right now. It still shouldn't do over 50. There's no way. There's a way. But hopefully he doesn't do over 50. That's what I'm trying to say, guys. That's what I'm trying to get at, you know? Anyway, I'm going to call mine again. Uh, I feel like I can win now with Uniclus. It's just going to be kind of difficult for me to win. It does not do over... He gets a para. doesn't do over 50, though, which is good. Uh, I'm just going to call mine again. Now I can recover. Don't get paralyzed, please. Please don't get paralyzed. Nice. Oh, that was really scary for a second. I was I was really scared that we were going to get paralyzed. Uh, he's going to try attack again. Please just don't get paralyzed. going to calm mind up. Now I have to hope I don't get paralyzed this turn as well. Um, please don't get paralyzed. Dark Pulse. That did less. Oh my god, he got the flinch. No way. Well, that's bad. Of course he got the flinch. Dark Pulse has a 20% chance to flinch. Come on, Pokemon. Why? Why does he get the flinch? That's so annoying, dude. I could have won this game with this. That's so frustrating. I'm going to save this and go into Absol, I guess. I don't know why I went into this, but I did. So, whatever. Tri-Attack kills me. Now I just go into my Porygon. I, I, I have to. I have no other choice. I'm going to go into Porygon. That's so stupid that he got the flinch, too. That's so stupid. I'm just going to Tri-Attack. Whatever. He's going to be faster, so Analytics going to kick in. Or if he switches out, that would be amazing, too. That's so frustrating. That is beyond frustrating. Don't get a burn or para or anything. All right, nice. That should kill. That's beyond frustrating to get that to get that flinch there. I shouldn't have sacked Absol either. I did that out of disgust. I thought I might could still use Reuniclus, but obviously I can't. That was stupid. I could have actually used Absol to win the game. I think I just choked because I let Absol die. That was a choke, so... I'm not living this, so um, I actually lose to this now. Just gonna try attack. Oh, we lived! Wow, I'm actually surprised we lived. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, I still think we lose. I'm pretty positive we still lose. Um, I'm assuming his Espeon's gonna have Shadow Ball. He goes into this though. He traces Analytic, which is kind of annoying, but not a big deal. Just gonna try attack this thing. He's probably gonna be faster than me because I'm running a slow Porygon. He's definitely going to be faster than me. I'm going to try attack. Uh, and then I can go to Darm and Flare Blitz twice. Or once. Or twice. I don't know. Oh, we lived. Ice Beam. Oh, my God. Are we serious, Pokemon? Are we serious? Are we actually serious? <sighs> this guy said retribution like he didn't hacks me the whole game. Right? Like he didn't get the flinch on my Reuniclus when I could have just won. That makes so much sense. Because he definitely needed Dom fan to win the game, right? He absolutely did. So stupid. This game is so stupid sometimes. I just, sometimes I can't deal with it. Anyway, we eat that up. That's going to do zero to him. I just have to hope that we hit this next one and get a crit. Doesn't matter though, he's gonna kill me with his Espeon anyway. It doesn't, he's just gonna para flinch. Yeah, see, there he is. He's just gonna wait till I got paralyzed. Or just stall me out. What an annoying person. I mean, like, actually, what, a, what an annoyance this guy was. That's so stupid. Yes, I got the freeze on his Don Fan. Yes, I understand that, but Don Fan was completely useless in that match. All he did was set up rocks. What did he need rocks for? He didn't. Unless he was going to use him on my Darmanitan, but what's the... I mean, nothing else. Stupid. It's so stupid. Anyway. The salt is back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, UU is just full of salt for me, I guess. His lead is looking like it's going to be a Zelf. Um, 
which means I can leave with Absol if I want. Yeah, I can just leave with Absol. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave with Don Fan. No, I'm not. I'm going to leave with Absol. What am I, why would I leave with Don Fan? Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thanks. I'm going to Earthquake. He might think I'm just trying to trade rocks with him, but I'm not. He might go out and Crobat. He might go out into his Elf. That would be annoying and annoying as also. So, actually, uh, I wanted to change it, but I didn't. I'm going to Toxic this thing. He's just going to set up rocks. Or do something else. I don't know. But I am just going to Toxic this. It's fine. Okay, then. He has Energy Ball. Wow. Alright, nice. Anyway, I'm just going to go into Reuniclus now. Or Porygon. I'm just going to go into Porygon. I need up this Energy Ball. Yummy. We are going to get a Toxic off on it, though, which is nice. Don Fan is going to be very weak, which is kind of annoying, but not a big deal. Psychic, uh, it's fine. Should have gone into Absol. Um, I'm just going to try attack. Hopefully he doesn't explode. That would be annoying. Do these, do these things usually carry explode? I feel like they do. Yeah, they definitely do. If there's lead, though, I don't think this thing was his lead. He's going to go into Snorlax. This is still going to do something. Great. Now I just go into Absol, I guess. And I have the superpower. He's probably just going to curse, which is annoying. Curse Lax pretty much beats... Well, not beats my team, but he does hurt my team a lot. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go into Absol here, hoping that he goes for a curse. Uh, and then I can just superpower his face. Hopefully he doesn't go for anything else. Of course he goes for that. Why wouldn't he go for power-up punch there? Of course. Of course. Of course. I'm going to superpower. It should kill this, but if it doesn't, then at least it weakens it to a, a, a point. Yeah, it didn't kill. He's just going to power-up punch now and kill me, which is annoying, but, you know, that's the game. Absol would have done a lot in this game, but alas, he's dead now, so can't do anything. Um, just going to go into Porygon, I guess. He's just gonna, he would rest, so... I just have to try attack here and kill this thing, hoping that we don't get the lowest of low rolls possible. We don't. Try attack's gonna kill. I'm so I'm frustrated that I lost. I lost that, so that's kind of annoying. I'm actually kind of annoyed with myself, but it doesn't matter. Uh, he's gonna bring out his uh, Napoleon. Okay. I'm just gonna thunderbolt this thing. Not sure what he wants to do to me. I'm just gonna thunderbolt though. Should do a lot. Yeah. Please get a para. No. Don't burn. All right. Nice. Um. That was a crit, too. That's annoying. Um, that's actually really annoying for me. I kind of just want to go into Dawn Fan and attack it off now to get a free switch into Crobat and Brave Bird something. Or uh, Cross Poison. His uh, Frog. No, 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 no. Let me be smart. Um, I'm going to go into Dawn Fan here. And sack it off. And then I'm going to go into Darmanitan and Flare Blitz. Even if he brings in Gator, I don't really care. This is going to kill Empoleon, I believe. It is neutral, but I think it's going to kill. Empoleon's defense isn't great, so this should definitely kill him. Uh, if it doesn't, then I'm, I'm sad. I'm immediately sad forever. But I'm pretty sure it does kill. Um, yep. Yeah. Alright, nice. So, now he brings in his Gator. Uh, he's probably just going to try to set up a Dragon Dance, which would be kind of annoying, but not a big deal. Because I do have Reuniclus in the back, which is uh, going to be able to take some Waterfalls from this thing. So, that's fine. I kind of just want to flare books again for damage, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go into as uh, That's my best play. He's just going to Dragon Dance here. He's probably got Crunch, though. That's kind of annoying. Um, I'm going to call Mind up once just to see how much Crunch does. It's probably going to be a 2-8 KO, though, if I think about it. Oh, or a one-shot. Fair enough. Fair enough. So I think I just lose now. Um, I could still win. I need to weaken this, though. So I need I need him to not kill me with one waterfall, which he probably will do. Uh, yeah, he's definitely killing me with one waterfall. Definitely killing me. Definitely killing me with one waterfall. I just need damage on this thing. I just need a lot of damage on this thing. And then I can win with Darmanitan. Flare Blitzing everything. I think I can win with it. I'll probably die first to recoil. But that's the way it goes, I guess. Anyway, he's taking a while to pick his play. I don't know why. He's, he's, his play is obviously to click Waterfall and kill my Porygon, which is annoying and stupid, and now I'm frustrated again. I could have played that much better. Uh, that's I'm not salty about losing that one. That was my fault. I could have actually won that if I had played a little better, but whatever. What can you do, right? Anyway, I'm Brave Birding. That did so much. He's just going to kill me with an Ice Punch. Now I go into Darmanitan and Flare Blitz everything, but I die to Recoil eventually, so bad game I lose.
<laughs> Bad game, I lose. Um, it's unfortunate, but that's the way it is, you know? Uh, nothing he brings in lives. Crobat doesn't live unless he's Scarfed Crobat. I still think I outspeed as well. I do. That's dead. But I lose too much to recoil, I think. Uh, well, if he brings in a Zelf here, it might be a slight choke if I can kill Aggron with one. If he brings in Aggron, though, then it's not a choke. If he brings in a Zelf, I think it's a choke. He brings in Aggron. Alright, so he's he wins. He just wins now. Yeah, because I think he even lives. Yeah, he lives. Easy. And he gets a Thunder Wave off. Okay. Why not just kill me now? But whatever. That's kind of annoying. You thunder Wave just to Heavy Slam. Instead of just Heavy Slamming last turn, you idiot. Jerk. Don't say GG to me. Alright, so we're losing a lot. So what I'm going to do is switch teams. I'm going to switch teams. We're going to go into... Uh... What did that just say? I didn't see what that said. Um... We'll use this team. I haven't used this team in forever, so we'll use this team. Uh, it's been a while, so... He's got a Delibird. Wow. Uh, let me see. His lead is looking like it's going to be probably Tentacruel. Even, maybe Chestnut, even. Um, which is actually kind of scary if he leads a Chestnut. Um, I would say my best lead is probably Toxicroak. Just in case he leads a Chestnut. Uh... He does leave a chestnut. Nice. I'm just going to gunk shot for free then. It does a lot to everything except maybe Dougie. Uh, actually, I'm just kind of scared of Duck Trio. Kind of scared of Duck Trio coming in, but uh, what can I do, right? I'm going to gunk shot. If he brings in... Oh, he just stayed in. That did a ton. So he goes for spikes. I do have a spinner. I don't know why exactly he went for that, but I'm going to SD. Hopefully he goes for spikes again. That would be amazing. Please go for spikes again, please. Nice. Now I can just go for a gunk shot again and hope I hit. Or I can drain punch. I think drain punch probably kills from this range. Especially if I'm plus two. Drain punch does kill. Nice. So give me all my health back and take some more off from life orb. Now he just goes into the trio. I have sucker punch to take care of that. Probably is going to be... Oh. Alright. Fair enough. Um, I guess I can gunk shot. I don't actually know. He's probably just going to go for T-spikes. I'm going to gunk shot here. Gone. Oh my lord. Get completely destroyed. Um. Now I just go for a drain punch. I mean, I'm, he's probably got liquid ooze. He didn't. Oh, okay. What's his other ability? I don't remember. Anyway, uh, Duck Trio is very likely now. Seeing as how his whole team has just been dismantled, and I do have still have a spinner on the team, so yeah, not sure exactly what he's trying to do, but he does bring in Duck Trio. Now I just Sucker Punch, and uh, he goes for rocks. What the heck is happening? I'm going to Sucker Punch again. <laughs> I'm going to Sucker Punch again. I'm not sure what he's doing. I have no other play but a Sucker Punch here, because I, uh, I can't take an Earthquake from this thing. He, goes, he lives with a Sash, and uh, that, it's going to take me down, obviously, with an Earthquake, so... Um, I can just go to Don Fan. I'm pretty sure I live in Earthquake, but I'm just gonna go into High Dragon. Uh, actually, I'm Life Orb. I'm not Scarfed. I don't have anything that speeds this or a priority. Um, I'm just gonna go into High Dragon. Yeah, he can't touch me with this. I don't think he can anyway. And I'm just gonna go for a Dark Pulse on whatever he brings in. Hopefully, it's Mischievous. He wouldn't bring in the Mischievous. He would probably bring in uh, Delibird. Why does he have a Delibird on his team? Um, Memento. Okay. That's fine. Uh, now I just switch on to Donphan and spin these rocks. Because nothing he has can, can kill me, I don't think. I'm actually going to switch into Crest first. Because I'm not getting hurt by anything except for rocks. He's going to fake out. What the heck is that? Why does this guy have a Delibird? What is this? <laughs> Um, wait, I can just sweep this guy now. I'm just gonna call mine. I can sweep him with this. What the heck is happening? Why does he keep trying to set up hazards? Does he have, like, Whirlwind? On one of his Pokemon? I'm confused. I don't know why he keeps setting up hazards. That's not helping him. He spent the whole entire game setting up hazards. Uh, that literally does zero. I'm just gonna set all the way up then. And win the game. <laughs> um, that, yeah, I, I don't know what he, exactly he's trying to do here. Uh... 
Huh? Alright, are we at the bottom now? Are we back at the bottom of the ladder? Hold on. I have to see. I guess we're back at the bottom of the ladder, huh? Yeah. That's insane. We lost that much in the past two episodes that we're back at the bottom. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Alright, I'm gonna call mine again. I'm gonna just completely get all the way up, I guess. Since this guy doesn't know what he's doing, I'm just gonna go ahead and win the game. I guess. He's not- he's literally doing no damage. Like, these ice shards are literally healing me every turn. Right. See, I'm gonna get all that back. He's just letting me win. Like, I don't- I don't get it, but whatever. We are gonna win here. Uh, we're gonna get a win. I don't even feel good about winning this because this guy obviously has no idea what he's doing. If he did, then he would be not making these plays. Um, then again, you gotta start somewhere, I guess. I mean, maybe this will be a learning experience for him. Maybe don't set up every single layer of hazards possible while I completely dismantle your whole team with the Toxic Rope. But, you know, you live and you learn, I guess, right? So, anyway, Ice Shard's gonna heal me. And I'm just gonna Psy Shock. He's gonna go down to his Sash. Um, I'm just gonna Psy Shock again. Or Moon Blast. I'm just gonna Moon Blast in case they... This man actually knows what he's doing. Hold on. Destiny... He doesn't know what he's doing, but Destiny... Wow. Okay, then. Fair fair enough. I'm just gonna go on High Dragon, though. As I just win the game with this. Um, I outspeed, right? Ooh, not really. I'm gonna Dark Pulse, though. See what, it, see what I can do to it. That does so much. Can I get a flinch? We do outspeed, by the way. I don't get a flinch. He goes for a Rain Dance. Uh... I mean, first of all, I just got bodied by that deli bird. Let me not let me not take anything away from this man. I completely got bodied by that deli bird. But uh Sap Sipper Hydration and Gooey. I'm fine to just Draco. A life orb Draco. I mean even if he's assault vest, it's still gonna do a ton. Yeah, that did so much. He's gonna kill me with a Draco. Huh? I just don't get it. I just don't. This is gonna kill him as long as I hit. Right, I Okay. Alright. Alright. That was fun. I... I'm gonna be honest. The Deli Bird thing caught me off guard. That was a cool... That was cool. We're at 22 minutes. Uh, the Deli Bird thing was cool, I guess. I mean, it was pretty weird, but... I mean, I guess that was cool, but... Everything else was just weird. And didn't make any sense. Oh my god, this guy's got a Trevenant. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Uh, anyway. He's, his lead is looking like it's gonna be... I feel like either like Trevenant or Cloyster. I feel like Cloyster is a possible lead for him to try to shell smash immediately. Um, I'm gonna lead with Hydreigon though. I feel like that's a safe lead. Yeah, this is fine. Because even if he wants to, no, he's not living a Draco. What am I talking about? Or a Dark Pulse. I'm gonna get the flinch. He can Ice Sharp. That's not gonna kill me. I'm just gonna get the flinch. This is fine. I'm gonna get the flinch. It's fine. So, hopefully, he'll make a play. He just stays in. Flinch, please, flinch. I'm begging you, flinch, flinch, flinch. Of course not. Uh, I do have Dawn Fan with Ice Shard, so we're good, I guess. I just kind of have to sack something here. Actually, I don't even have to sack anything. I can just go into Cresselia and live. I'm just going into Cress. I'm living. Yum. Of course he got a crit there. That kind of mattered. Um, not sure that I live another one. I might just have to sack Cresselia here. Which is fine. He has like three counters to Cresselia on his team, so I'm just gonna Moonlight just in case I live a hit. But I don't obviously live. Um, which is annoying, I guess, but not that big of a deal. I'm gonna go into Don Fan now and Ice Shard and kill this. Uh, and that's just gonna be that's gonna be that for Don or for uh, Cloister. So that's good. Um, I don't know. Mm, I don't know what I could have done to possibly prevent that. He's probably just gonna sub here. Don't know that Earthquake breaks his sub. I hate this Pokemon so much. Ice Shard does a ton. He's just gonna go for Leech Seed. I'm gonna Ice Shard again. Uh, actually, no. I wanna switch out. I'm gonna switch out to High Dragon. Hopefully, hope. I mean, I hope he doesn't go for sub. He's going to though. Oh, he goes for Horn Leech. Nice. Now I just Dark Pulse for free. Get a flinch too. I can just get a flinch. Then everything is good, right? Of course he Leech Seeds. That's fine. He's probably just gonna protect here. Uh, that would be his best play, or he could switch out, I guess, into... Oh, okay, yeah, he just protects, that's fine. It doesn't matter, I just Dark Pulse again. It kills this, so... Uh, I need to let Hydreigon stay alive, though, which is important, because I need to kill this thing. 
Uh, he can bring in his own high dragon here, so I might just Draco. I'm actually going to double. I'm going to double out into my Sharpedo. Hoping that he doesn't stay in and Horn Leech. Why would he? Right. Perfect. That's really good for me. Um, I can just go... Oh, wait. I don't want to Mega Evolve. I'm going to protect. I guess I could protect. I kind of just want to crunch. I can just win with this. Um, I'm just going to crunch. Wow. He stayed in and reflected. That's crazy. Anyway, I just crunch again. Um, I do have protect on this, so I can kind of stall out his uh, reflect a little bit. I'm just going to crunch again. Uh, should kill Espeon. He is going to switch out into Arcanine, which is fine by me. He's going to get the Intimidate drop, which is kind of annoying. Um, crunch did 10% to this physically offensive, or physically defensive Arcanine. Arcanine's annoying. Um, really just want to go into Donphan here. I'm going to protect and see what he does. I'm kind of curious. Just to see. Uh, he goes for a Willow. That's actually fine. Um, that attack drop is kind of annoying. He's going to outspeed. Er, not outspeed, but he's uh, he's going to live this waterfall too. And if he Willows me, that's bad. So I'm actually just, I kind of just want to go into Don Fan here. Uh, or High Dragon, or Toxic Rogue, or Slur. I, I'm just going to go into Don Fan. It's the best switch. He's probably just going to Willow uh, again. Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind Don Fan getting burned. I do want to get up rocks, though. Hopefully, just go into Espeon. That would be annoying. Uh, he actually probably will. I'm just going to Earthquake then. He just Flare Blitzes. I should have just put up rocks. I'm just going to Earthquake. That's going to do zero. Yeah, that, is, that literally does negative damage. Now I'm going to put up rocks. Do I live? Probably not. Oh, this is good then. This is actually fine. I'm just going to Earthquake again. He's probably just going to kill me, but I don't care necessarily for him to kill me. I just want the Reflect to be gone. That's the biggest issue for me right now. He's going to E-Speed. We'd live that. Uh, earthquake is going to do a lot. He's just going to Morning Sun this turn. Or he could kill me. I think he's just going to Morning Sun though. Um, We can actually win. It's just going to be kind of difficult to... Uh, anyway, we do wear off his Reflect, which is nice. How do we live from Burn? Oh, because we've got lefties. Uh, he's just going to Morning Sun again, I guess. Or E-Speed, that's fine too. Um, this Pokemon is so annoying. I really just want to go into Toxic Croak and go for a Gunk Shot and get as much damage off as I can. I don't actually need Toxic Croak to win. It would be kind of useful for Trevenant in case I mess up, but I don't think I'm going to. I think we're fine. So I'm just going to go into Toxic Croak now and go for a Gunk Shot and get off as much damage as possible on this thing. Uh, I think we live in E-Speed. Uh, yeah, he didn't even go for it. He's going to go for Flare Blitz probably. Or a Willow. That's so annoying. Why would he do that? Why? Because now he just Morning Suns. Or switches out to Trev. That's fine. That did zero. That literally did zero. I'm going to Swords Dance here. See, if I don't get burned there, then we're fine. He's probably going to sub. Or he just he went for a Horn Leech. Fine. Now I'm going to Gunk Shot again. Just get off as much damage as I can on this, or whatever else he brings in. He's not staying in with this, obviously. He just protects. That's fine, too. I'm just going to Gunk Shot again. He doesn't really have a switch in uh, for this. So something's going to get hit pretty hard with a Gunk Shot. He's just going to try to double protect, and he doesn't. That's going to kill. That's nice for me. That's really good. So now maybe Espeon comes out. Uh, I'm actually just going to go into High Dragon. I think it's my best play. We'll see what he wants to bring out. It is Espeon, so uh, we're not outspeeding. He's going to set up a Reflect, and that's going to be annoying for me. Uh, I'm just going to Dark Pulse this thing, though. I see he is going to set up a Reflect here, more than likely, uh, seeing as how I have pretty much all physical. Oh, that's really good. He didn't set up a Light Screen. He didn't set up a Reflect. Wow, awesome. Anyway, he goes into this. Uh, Focus Blast should kill this if I hit, please. He's going to protect. I'm going to focus black. Oh, wait, no. I'm just... Ah, I should have roosted. Why didn't I roost? Why didn't I roost? I messed up. I should have roosted. Now I just lose this Pokemon. That was so dumb of me. I should have just roosted. I don't know what I was doing. That was bad. Bad play. He's going to Mega. Ice Fang's going to kill. That was such a dumb play on my part. I should have just roosted. Uh, 
Now I go into Slurpuff. I can win the game with Sharpedo here. I have to weaken this thing, though. Um, I want a Belly Drum so bad, but I don't think we live a hit, so I'm just going to Drain Punch. Uh, waterfall. We did live. I should have just Belly Drummed then. But Drain Punch is going to take this thing down to a very low amount of HP. I can just Belly Drum now. Yeah, I'm just going to Belly Drum now. What am I doing? I just Belly Drum again. Or I Belly Drum now. He's going to protect. Oh, even better. Even better. Now I just hit him with a Drain Punch. We got our Unburden Boost still. So uh, this is really good. This is really good for me. Because uh, Arcanine, I don't think, lives a return. I'm probably just going to Drain Punch. Or Play Rough. Uh, it's very res Fire Resist Fairy, doesn't it? I have to return then. He doesn't know about Unburden. Yeah, we are at the bottom of the ladder, unfortunately. Anyway, uh, I can just Play Rough. Or I can Drain Punch to get off more... Get back more HP. I'm just going to Drain Punch here. I'm just going to Drain Punch here. Uh... I think it kills. Hydreigon's pretty frail. Let me, let me let me look at mine. Yeah, he's pretty frail. I'm just going to Drain Punch. Just going to Drain Punch here. Uh, I'm not sure if it kills or not, but what can this thing actually do back to me? I mean, he can Dark Pulse. I don't think he gets any type of... Oh my god, he just died. Was there a High Dragon on the screen just now? I didn't see him. I didn't notice. Anyway, Arcanine comes out. He's going to get hurt by rocks. Get the Intimidate drop, which is fine. I'm just going to return now. And uh, Slurpuff is going to come through and get the win. In our last battle of the day in UU. So today, uh, the first session went poorly. The second session went better. Uh, we're working our way back up. I'm kind of frustrated that I got this far down. But, you know, that's Pokemon. That's the way it goes. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. Make sure that you comment and subscribe as well. If you haven't already, as well as check the description out. Like I said earlier, for Twitter and Twitch and all that stuff. We live stream on Twitch every single week today. And, uh, yeah, pretty much that's all I got to say. So, <laughs> hopefully you guys will come back tomorrow. Tomorrow we have RU and an episode of uh, Sapphire Randomized Nuzlocke going up for you guys. So, that being said, I'm going to get up out of here and I'll see you guys in the next video. I am out.